Hello, this is Forrest Clark here from Clark's Condensed, and today I'm going to demonstrate a clean cut, do it yourself haircut that you can obviously do at home. And I've been doing it for about 12 years, and it might be something that will be handy for you. Um, so I use these uh, kind of clipper sets, they have different length guards, and my um, set goes up to a number 8, which is 1 inch. And or 25 millimeter. So that's usually what I use. It's the longest one on top. Um, these clippers, they have this thing on the side. So you have this on here, and it can be one. Um, it can be, you can adjust it a little bit. So if you want to try to blend it, obviously you don't want to have lines where you have different lengths. So I'll just uh, I'll use an eight, one inch in the middle, and then I'll adjust it a little bit, make it a little bit shorter, do just next to that. And I'll try to get it to blend and um, all the way down to about a two is where I like it. So it kind of depends on how thick your hair is, the color, um, how you, you want to do it. But it's pretty simple. I uh, just use the mirror and I don't have anybody else. Um, I don't wet it on top and use scissors. I feel like it provides consistent results and can save you money by not having to have someone else cut your hair. And if for some reason, like currently when I'm recording this video, if you can't go out and get someone else to cut your hair, um, that can come in handy just so you can do it at home and get a nice clean haircut feel. And just real quick, I, I just used a trash bag. The kit actually that I bought, I think I bought it at Ross for like 10 bucks or something like that because it was on sale. Um, so they, they're really, they don't have to be too expensive. Um, I saw one YouTube video where they're advertising some scissors like, you can get some cheap scissors, they're only like $40. I was like, eh, that doesn't seem like something I want to do. So if you're like me, kind of cheaper and want to save some money, do it yourself. Um, this is, will be a good system. And um, it did come with the plastic uh, covering, but I just used a trash bag because the plastic covering, I've used it for like 10 years and it has a few holes in it. So I decided to try this out and see if it worked. It seems to work okay. But mostly, I know I'm going to make a mess a little bit, so I'm going to pull up this little mat here. It's going to collect some hair. The floor will be easier to clean up. And um, so I just try to have a clean space. So it'll be easier to clean up later. And I have an outlet here, and I use the mirror in the bathroom, and it's going to get loud, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with an 8. It's always recommended that you have clean hair, like no product, have it washed recently, not like five days ago, you have a whole bunch of hair oil in your hair. So I washed it this morning, so that's why it's a little extra puffy and poofy. So I have a lot of thick hair. So I, um, I start by cutting everything with the 8, so some of this stuff is longer than an 8 on the sides. So I cut it all with the 8. And then I do a six, and this is my habit, just to cut it all, except for this middle part with the six, then four, and because I feel like if you just try to do an eight and then a six, um, sometimes you miss a few little hairs, and at the very least, hopefully, if I miss a hair here, it's at least an eight or a six. I might have gotten that at some point, so it's not like the original length. So uh, I think I feel like that helps. All right, I want to start. Okay, maybe I'll do it straight down here a little bit. Here we go. So I keep it simple at first. Let's go straight up. Um, at some point, you want to do like a V shape. So I try to blend in the edges of it. Uh, you know, let's see. All right, I'm done. Just kidding. <laughs> it's not the haircut anybody's gonna like. Alright, so. Alright, try to get the edge a little bit off. I think I got the middle mostly pretty well. So I'm gonna try to adjust this to be slightly longer. So I pushed it down. I don't know if you can see that there, how it changes. So. Uh, that's longer. All right, so go on the edge here of where I had it before. I have a couple cowlicks in the back. Some people recommend you keep them longer, so I think that makes it like heavier. So they don't stick up so much, but I like to just to cut them really short. They can't stick up very much if they're short. Alright. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just do a bunch of this other stuff really quick here, which I'll cut later to shorter lengths. Let's see if I have any dandruff in here. So right now I'm just trying to avoid the very middle of the top of my head because that's longer than what I have right now. I try to drop most of it in the sink in the same spot and make it clean up easier. Right. You have to look kind of which angle your hair is going. A little bit. I have kind of like a dip in my head right here. Some pops up on the edge sometimes. So try to get that. Alright, so let's try to go a little different angle slightly. Try to blend it a little bit. I don't feel like it's too noticeable here. Uh, one thing I've seen online as a tip is to try to go kind of like out. That's kind of what I do just naturally, I feel like, but uh, there might be some other reason. I don't really know what it is. But. Uh, support myself with my arm here. Put my head down. Just keep a little mental map in your head almost of where you're cutting. After using one of these a while, they'll kind of get gunked up. But uh, they have these brushes. I'm going to turn it off. They have these brushes to try to clean up a little of the extra hair. I oiled this earlier, that's why it's kind of extra sticky right now, but you want to do that sometimes. At least that's what my dad told me and that's what I've done, so I don't know what the manufacturer's recommendations are. I used some mineral oil and tried to lube up the gears and the cutting, the metal and all that stuff, but so I don't know what kind of fire hazard that might be. Hopefully it's not a hazard, it's what I do, but all right. I think I got most of what I can get with that eight, roughly eight. So I already have my six laid out here. Just knock off a little of the extra hair between adding the, the guards. Okay. I don't know how helpful this is, but I just kind of do it and hope it helps. Keep things clean without building up too much. There we go. So six, all right, I'm gonna put that back down. Right. So I'm gonna go about here, kind of on this point. Just gonna go around the little cold sack. And if you, sometimes I try to, let's see if I can demonstrate this, if you wanna, not go level, you can always try to tilt it away from your head a little bit, the higher side. Try to blend it a little bit. Let's go over it multiple times. Okay. Trying to show you and watch at the same time. Yeah, it's the mirror version. More likely what I'm seeing. Sometimes you mess with it and kind of see if things are a little off. This part is sticking up, but sometimes they stick up at first, but then you wash them and they kind of smooth out. So I wouldn't attack it too much, or you might end up actually being shorter than it originally was. Right. The first one will take the longest because you're covering your whole head, but once you get down to these other smaller numbers, it should go a little bit faster. Another limiting factor somewhat of where you, you do this is um, where your outlet is, got an extension cord and all that. But you don't want to be careful in a bathroom with an electrical device, obviously you don't want to shock yourself. So, this off again. Okay. so I have... Oh. I feel like you most have to be careful with the lines around when you're getting really short. So 
so I'm not as careful at the top personally, but so it's longer. Okay. All right, so just below where I was before. And you can kind of go like this even if you want to try to blend it that way. Most people prefer to get pretty short at this point. But this is already half the number of uh, yeah, half the, the height of the top. So you can try to go kind of somewhat in V shapes. You want to avoid too much of a line even, just going like this. Okay. Back to I do want a little bit below where I want, and then I try to kind of blend it a little bit. I usually like it a little shorter up here myself, I think. I just try to keep a picture in my head. You kind of feel somewhat too how long it might be. If you're doing a lot of different cuts, it's hard to get a line. If you're just doing one, you could easily get a line, but I feel like it's hard to get a, a line if you're doing like this. Okay. This one already? Oh, that's a little long. I think I missed something. I'll have to go back just... It doesn't take long. I right, start with the eight here. Let's go over in different directions sometimes, especially these cowlick spots where hair pops up in different directions. So you have to kind of cut it in different directions. So you might want that longer in that part of your head if you don't have a cowlick. Go back to a six, just to double check that. Just go slightly on the kind of bottom edge of the cowlick area. You kind of hear when it cuts, so you kind of get, can rip, uh, notice when you're hitting something that's long enough. Pull up when you hear it again. Right. This plastic bag has me sweating a little bit. So, when it, like I said earlier, when it's shorter, I feel like it's when you can really notice lines. Your skin starts to pop through the color of it. Um, so that's, I have a three now. So before I had this was spaced out about two apart. Uh, now this I did a four. Now I'm gonna do a three. So, Definitely down here, I do this kind of pull up part style cutting. Kind of pay attention to the sound. You can really. Here, you want to be careful when you're going sideways, that's where you get some lines that are noticeable. But kind of have to be careful on the ears. So there's a little spot bone right here, so I'm going to go up to about there, roughly with the three. Follow this little curve of the, the head and the neck. Try not to leave a line, so try not to be too specific about it. Get a little bit of a V pattern, hopefully that helps. Okay. Get some clumps here. Okay. I feel like the fade for me it kind of follows the ear and neckline a little bit. So it's not like 
perpendicular to the ground. So I, feel, I kind of, when I get to these lower numbers, sometimes I go a little like that. So. too much so must be a little lower sometimes if you don't hear too much you're just going at the wrong angle and you're gonna need to adjust your angle yeah. oh let's just take a shower afterwards to get all the extra hair off so. okay. all right I think that's about it for the three down to two that's as short as I'll go um, I'll trim up around the ears after that. This kit in particular also has things for the eyebrows and for the left and right ear, but angled um, to help you kind of cut around it. But I usually don't use those myself, but it's helpful if you're starting out. All right, two. Okay. So I put my head down here and I want to try to avoid uh, scrunching up the space and try to flatten it out to get this part of your neck line. Yep. I can't see most of that, which is just try to listen, keep tracking your head about where you've been. tell what you're cutting by what you can hear. Try to shorten this up. Oh, that was already short. Okay. I feel like that's about short enough for, for me. Some people might want to go shorter, but should be about good. No, it's just check it out, mess with it, see if you need to adjust it, go back. Um, I'm just going to do the ear real quick, so I just kind of pull it down, keep it simple. That's mostly what you need to look right there. Turn it to the other side. You don't want to, don't want to feel like you're cutting your ear, ear off, so. Take your time. You don't want to get too high. It might look a little funny. But I always I pick a spot in my ear. I look like so the top of this little loop right here. I'll cut my sideburns to there. It'll be consistent for each side if I pick a spot. And so I'll go over here. Over there. So I keep my head level. It's a little tricky sometimes. I might adjust it later if you have to. I'll go back with my, my shave and I'll trim up these spots right here. Um, for the neck, I just kind of get the big stuff. You might not have a hairy neck like I do, but. Sometimes you can kind of see if you pull a little bit to your skin. There you go. Kind of get some of that. Somehow, sometimes I feel like I get a little bit of a long stuff right here at the bottom. But, um, should turn as much as you can. Pull it a little bit. Sometimes I can. I try to pull a little extra hair if it feels long and just nick it manually. kind of tell when my hair ch changes thickness or length well it's more like my neck hair or my head hair <laughs> so try to use that as a guide okay all right let's mess with it a little bit um 
um, I do have thicker eyebrows, so I do like to do that. It actually does cut a little bit. I think it helps. It's a little less noticeable. If you do it with a haircut, people might be wondering why you're trimming your eyebrows otherwise. <laughs> but kind of, it's lost in the mix, I feel like, if you do it with your haircut. All right, real quick before I take a shower, I just want to mention a few things why I like doing my own, cutting my own hair, and why I like it short. Um, it's hard to cut your own hair if you're doing a longer style. But one thing I like about it being short is that when you wake up, you don't have to really do much to it. You just kind of push it back into place and off you go. So if it's longer and you try not to do anything with your hair, it's usually more noticeable. So I'm gonna try to take a shower um, put a little product maybe in my hair and shave and I think you'll be able to get a better idea of what type of haircut this is. Alright, so I shaved and I washed my hair, took a shower, got all the extra hair off and so now I kind of see a little bit better how it looks. Um, try to show you the back. There we go, let's see if I can Manage the other side. All right. Yep, so, so if you're thinking about trying this haircut out, I would just say go for it. Um, it takes some practice to start cutting your own hair, but after you figure it out, you'll be saving yourself a lot of money, and who doesn't want that? So it's a simple haircut, just kind of long, shorter, short, 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 short. And um, use the, the guards from the, the shears to cut your hair. I think it looks fine. You might not be winning any beauty contests, but it's nice to have a good short haircut that you don't have to worry about. No, no fuss haircut. So. Especially right now when I'm filming, uh, there's the whole coronavirus, everyone wants to stay at home. So if you're at home and um, you can't go get your normal haircut and your haircut's getting too long and you're kind of frustrated with it, try it out. Try out this is a simple haircut and uh, just uses a simple kit with different length guards and um, you don't have to use scissors and you don't have to have anybody else there, you can do it yourself. So. Best of luck if you try it and I hope it works out well for you.